Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I'm doing another Friday Reads video today um, and I thought I'd just show you what I'm reading, what I'm planning on reading over the next weekend um, and then just have a bit of a general chat as well and just sort of just natter for a bit, I like nattering. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to first tell you what I'm currently reading and then what I'm thinking about doing this weekend um, and yeah, and I've got a couple of options I think. So I'm currently two stories into Hitchcock and Bradbury Fist Fight in Heaven which is a short story collection um, put together by McSweeney's who are a literary magazine um, and they do these I think quarterly um, yeah quarterly um, and yeah this is a collection of stories that are um, kind of inspired by two collections that um, Hitchcock and Bradbury put together um, Hitchcock's was called um, I think Tales Not for the Nervous and Bradbury's was about sort of fantastical elements, I can't remember what it's called, it's called like Tall Tales, I think. And basically what McSweeney's have done is kind of paired off stories from each of those two collections, um, kind of pairing them off one against each other and adding in some new additions at the end that they think um, Hitchcock and Bradbury would have agreed um, sort of would fall into those short story collections. Um, I, as I say, I'm about two stories in now, so 50 pages in. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I finish this one at the weekend. Whilst it's really long, um, it's like nearly 500 pages long, um, I'm always really quick with short story collections and always read them a lot quicker than I think I'm going to so yeah that's the one that I'm going to be dipping in and out of I'm probably going to read two stories at a time um, and then jump into something else in between I pretty much consistently have compass which I haven't touched in a long time um, but if the weather's nice I might read a bit of that one um, no promises though but that's one that's on my list as a maybe and then what I think I might try and do this weekend um, is actually try and get a bit more of War and Peace done so I'm 214 pages into this one at the moment so that far through um, but what I found with Anna Karenina was it really worked for me to do it on audiobook and to listen to the book and do some cross stitch and um, I quite enjoyed doing that to mix things up a bit and I missed it um, so I've bought the first part of War and Peace which is like up to about five, page 500 um, so I may just settle down with some embroidery um, in between reading um, just to have a bit of a break but to get more done um, but yeah I think that's really going to be the best way for me to do War and Peace um, I don't yet know whether or not I'm going to be able to cope with it on audiobook it, I might still have to put it off um, because it's not that I'm not liking it it's just that the content at the moment isn't what's right for me um, yeah so, so my partner's deployed and it's quite hard to read about um, war and people getting hurt um, at the moment because there's a lot of worry in my life already um, but we'll see we'll see I might get on okay with it when it's when an audio books it feels more like a story whereas when I'm reading something I'm going to go off and think about stuff for a while and I end up worrying myself so yeah War and Peace is an option um, and I think I'm going to try and do a bit of that maybe not today but maybe on Saturday um, and I have this one to make which I don't know if you can see the pattern on it it says love is just a dream and it's got like flowers around it, we'll have flowers around it, um, and it's pretty freehand, but there's there is a pattern. Um, I've just done one leaf and some and some colours at the moment, um, which again, like I kind of miss the embroidery element of it, and I think that classics were quite nice with it. So yeah, that's kind of what I think I'm probably gonna do. And then the other four books you've probably seen were just up there. Um, and they're the ones I'm going to choose from because I think I probably have, in reality, I probably won't touch Compass, but I might. But um, I think in reality, I'm probably going to do the McSweeney's War and Peace, and I want one other. Um, and the three I have, the four I have, sorry, are Flamingo Land and Other Stories, so another short story collection. Um, the Heart is a Lonely Hunter, Deceit and Self Deception. And then the last one is 43T1, um, but I'm not going to choose 43T1 um, just because I am planning on reading this one um, on my week off. So I have a week off. Um, toward the end of next week and I'm spending it in the country um, at my mum's house. I'm going to vlog again and do some watch safety doing very little videos um, but this is going to be the monster that I'm going to take with me um, to read my way through in that week. I think that's going to be really nice to have a big book to dive into and I really hope I like it. Um, but yeah so whilst that one's on my TBR I'm not planning on starting this one this weekend. So I think in reality I've got these three books to choose from. Um, Flamingo Land and Other Stories is another short story collection so whilst I really want to read this one I think I'm going to tell myself I probably shouldn't read this one just because two short story collections back to back um, feels a bit indulgent somehow so I think probably not Flamingo Land um, so that leaves me with Deceit and Self Deception and The Heart is a Lonely Hunter and I'm not really looking forward to this one just because of the font which I spoke about in my last video and you all kindly told me it was called Serif and Sans Serif fonts um, so I think I'll just do like a random choice between the pair um, and one of these two will be the ones I'm looking at this weekend, but I don't know yet. We could do an Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Moe now. Let's do that, let's do that. So we've got Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Moe, Catch a Cricket by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Moe. Okay, well, it's the one I want, so... <laughs> 
that's fine. So then I'll have to seat and self-deception that I'll start on this weekend as well, um, in between the sort of other stuff that I'm reading at the minute. Um, yeah, so that is everything that I am thinking about getting to this weekend. There's a few options, as I say. I may go completely off track. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on having a weekend of pretty much just reading this weekend. I don't have anything else on. Um, and I think I might do like a lazy day tomorrow um, and just really chill out, um, which sounds nice. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm planning on getting to. You may be able to tell in this video that my mood is fairly much higher um, than it was in the last few videos that I filmed for you. Um, yeah, it, it's... I've had a bit of an up and downy kind of period recently um, that you guys have seen, but hopefully at the minute we're on a really good track. I've, I've had a high, much higher mood for nearly a full week now, um, which is a really good sign, and um, hopefully the, the sort of medication changes and chemical changes are settling me down um, to a point where I am kind of back to myself-ish. Um, but yeah, I will be a little bit all over the place still, probably for the next couple of weeks, um, just as everything settles in and settles down, but that's perfectly normal and okay, but you're just going to have to put up me being a little bit weird for a bit. Um, yeah, the only other thing I wanted to say in this video is I'm open to video suggestions for stuff to film over the next couple of days, because I don't have really anything that's on my list as things I have to film. There are a few like discussion videos I could put together um, that I always have like in the back burner, but I just wondered if anyone had anything they particularly wanted to see or anything they wanted me to discuss at the moment. Um, the couple of things that I had thought about putting together were one on um, who controls publishing houses, which I think could be quite interesting. So looking at what media companies um, own publishing houses because I think we all assume that publishing houses are all independent entities and they all they aren't all independent entities. That doesn't mean they're bad um, or that there's any problem with having large conglomerates but I just think it's interesting um, as a discussion. Um, and the other one is about books on politics, whether you want to hear anything about um, sort of politics just in the uh, sort of in the run-up to the UK election and whether you want me to do any books talking about political issues. Um, but yeah, let me know. They're the two um, sort of videos I have in reserve in my head both need a little bit of planning so I, I don't know we'll say 24 hours from when this video is posted um, and then yeah let me know I'm happy to film sort of any of those things for you really I hope you're all well it's been really rambly fully aware it's been really rambly um, but I'll see you guys soon in my next video whatever that is all right bye bye